let's try typing something in my uh, new angular search bar so let's see i want to see some angular testing books and that's nice i can see five quick search results uh, from angular testing from the google books api and now i can see exactly what i need so for example i'm interested in angular 2 test driven development when i click on it i can go to that specific book id and the specific book detail page and i can see it now if i want to go to another book i can go to another book as well and now let's see i just want to uh, see all of the results for this and i want to find out the book that i really need so i'm just going to click on this thing here at the bottom all search results for angular testing or i can also press enter and i can go to the detailed search results page which is going to give all of the search results according to my specific search term and then i can go on any specific search term as well now this is a pattern that you'll see a lot on uh, the web this is basically called the quick search functionality you will see it in imdb you will see it on gmail and other web apps so it's so popular because it makes it really quick to find what you need without even going to another page by the end of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this uh, in Angular. You can use your own search bar for this or use the one that I had created in my previous tutorial and you can refer to that if you would like to create something like that. Great! So without further ado, let's get started and let's look at four steps in which you can implement quick search. Okay, so step number one. Now that is to uh, create a variable or a signal in our case because signals are uh, pretty useful for this purpose. We are going to create a signal which uh, links up with the input that the user is entering so that it is synced up with it. So uh, we have here the search bar component that I created in the previous tutorial and we have an input field here. Now we also have a search term signal which we have already created in the search bar service here. So what we're going to do is simply we'll use the input event handler of the input field and we are going to set the search term signal to the value of the search input. This is going to ensure as the user types the value, it is going to keep the search term signal updated. Great. Let's look at uh, step number two. Now, step number two is that we need to debounce this um, search term value before we actually use it to fetch the. So uh, let's go into our search bar service and we have the search term signal here. So we can actually add this functionality here. Now we need to convert this into an RxJS observable for this case because RxJS observables are the best way to handle asynchronous reactivity. So we are going to use the RxJS interop package provided by the Angular core package here and two observable and this dot search term like this. So this is going to convert it into an observable. Now once it's an observable, we can then add a pipe to it and a debounce time operator. I have added 500 milliseconds, which I found suitable. You could add more or less as you wished. And then when you subscribe to it, you can then call any service to get the quick search results that you need. In our case, I'm going to create a result service here and I'm going to, I have already injected it here. So we are going to create a new function called get quick results by passing in the search term. Great. So this was step number two. Now step number three will be implementing the search results service here. So let's go to the search results service here and you can see it's empty right now. So the first thing we need to do here is to actually add a quick search results signal. So let's add that here. Now this signal is going to have a type of uh, an array of books. And for that, we're going to create a type ourselves. So let's create a type, something like this. Now this is basically mapping everything that we need on the UI for this to work. So this is basically my own custom type. So quick results is going to be um, an array of books. Next, we are going to create our main function, which we need. The quick results function is going to be an async function because we're going to use promises within it. The first thing we're going to check here is if the search term doesn't have any value. So if the search term is empty, that means that the user has cleared the search bar. So in that case, we would like no results to be shown. And then we're just going to return it. Great. In the other case, we are going to use the search term. We are going to split it. If there are spaces in between, we are going to convert it by joining it along with the plus sign because this is how the Google Books API expects it. Then we're going to use Google Books API, which you can get from their website. I pass in the search term by using the queue parameter and some other results that we need. So for example, we need only five results because for quick search results, we don't need all of them. And then we pass in the key, which I also got from their website. We are going to convert it into a JSON 
and then we need to set it to the signal that we uh, are going to use in our templates but as a google books api gives uh, data in a different format we need a function to convert it into our own format so for that we need to create a function we call it convert to results and here we have all of the data for the google books api and we convert it to our own data format which is the books data format okay so we just use a function we convert all of this data to that great so this is the third step in which we have created a function which we need to get the api now whenever this is called and the user changes it the quick results signal is updated so quick results signal contains our five top quick search results now all we need to do is we need to show it on our drop down or the overlay that we created so let's go to our search overlay and that is the fourth step now the search overlay as you can see we already contains the recent searches list which we created in the previous tutorial uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a mat divider and we're going to add a quick results list component which is going to show our quick results list so let's go inside of that the first thing here what we're going to do is include all of the data that we need so here we need the search bar service because we need the search term we need to show it in our list at the end and also we need to use the search bar service to call different functions the next thing is we need the quick results data that we need to show on the uh, on the list so we include the or inject the search result service and we refer to the quick result signal great now we start creating the template uh, the first thing we do is we just create the mat action list which is part of the mat list module and we create a loop uh, using the new control flow syntax we loop through the top result signal and we track it using the book id because this is unique and for each of the items we first add the image which contains the directive mat list item avatar so this formats it according to an avatar shape makes it easier for us we don't have to add any custom styling and then we add the title and the snippet of the book as separate lines great let's see how this looks so let's just save this and now when we search for angular testing for example you can see that we have a nice material list which shows us our um, quick search results the top five quick search results great we just need a bit of a modification uh, a bit of some addition at the end to make it complete but first let's also add a click event handler which is going to open the book detail for that specific book because the user wants to go to that specific detail now we don't i'm not implementing it here uh, in the video basically we just call the google books api again and we get a single books detail and we show it on the ui great next we're just going to add a divider so that it looks good and then we're going to add an extra mat list item which is going to just allow the user to go to the complete search results okay, let's save this now and let's just test this out again to see how this looks and now when you do angular testing you can see that we get this nice thing at the bottom here which says all search results for angular testing press enter so when you press enter it's going to then go in your search results page which is not implemented as yet but you can implement in your own way great and that's it you have enabled a quick search for your app making your users happier and making their work faster on your app now the final code for this app is available on my shop uh, the link which you can find in the description below uh, so this contains basically the extended version of the angular search bar that i created previously and you can find extra features in this such as the quick search functionality that i added here the recent searches was already there and then you have the detail page and the detailed results page uh, using the google books api so that is a good example of how to integrate it with any of your existing apis or your existing data on your own sites so if you found value in this video be sure to like and subscribe so that it can reach more people like you and also you can drop me a comment if you find anything confusing or you want to ask something thanks for watching and i'll see you next time